Hey everybody, uh, just so you know, we can no longer clap in public or in theaters or in a social setting because it might upset someone in their social anxiety. It might be too loud for people with hearing aids and it triggers them. We need to be more inclusive, everyone. Um, so from this point forward, uh, I am ending the car video clap and we're just going to do car video car video because i don't want to i don't want to offend anybody i don't want to upset anybody uh really okay anyway let's listen to this crazy person talk and then we will discuss it what is upsetting genuinely about clapping so it's actually not just for people with anxiety it's also people who use hearing aids clapping can be disruptive to that people who have sensory processing issues it can be very distressing and overwhelming to have those loud sudden noises but it is part of our culture isn't it to clap if you go to the theater or you go to a lecture or you go to a performance or you go to a gig you would expect that people would clap yeah absolutely and that could be preventing people from going to those events which is a real shame so if some theaters or some universities say actually we can be more inclusive and do jazz hands instead that would be lovely oh. more people could get involved and then what would be the penalty oh if you God. clapped I don't think there's going to be a penalty, frankly. I don't think anyone's going to say, like, you need to leave. But if you were persisting with clapping, even though you've been requested to do something, that's not very polite, is it? What is this is this is exactly where we're at, where these people think that you're supposed to pander to the 1%. You're supposed to pander to the 2% of people out there. Um, and, and that's what we've continued to see with Hollywood, with the mainstream media, where they focus on the 1% and the 2%, not the 98%. So because one person got offended by something, we must, it must be everybody. This is how they, they, they try to paint a narrative about something. Oh, there's a person on your video, Jeremy, your video that has... 30,000 views or 50,000 views and 10,000 comments. But I saw two comments from people that, that really were offensive and it speaks to your entire, your entire community because of one comment from an account with no subscribers and no content. But I found one comment that was highly offensive. So I'm going to screenshot that comment and I'm going to build a narrative around everybody that has ever watched a Geeks and Gamers video or supports Geeks and Gamers thinks like this one comment. This is the type of mentality these people have. This is crazy talk. This person is crazy. Who is this person anyway? Ellen C. Scott. Uh, she, her... Writer, loves green tea, gets emotional about cats, lifestyle editor at Metro UK, Metro UK Life, and co-host of Mentally Years. Um, what? Oh my god, I just... <sighs> I don't know how you get like this. I, I don't know how you end up like this. Um, but this is, again, it, it's, it's, it's like a... It's representative of where we're at, you know? Um, it, it's just this constant lunatic pandering. They just come up with something more crazy every single day. I honestly believe that the clapping is probably something to do, not everything to do, but something to do with PewDiePie. I really believe that. Obviously, I do the car video, and I got that from Meme Review. Meme review. Meme review. I, I, I mean, they're just so... They, they'll take anything that he does or anything that anybody that with common sense does. I mean, at some point, they're, gonna, they're probably going to ban the, the thumbs up signal because Trump does the thumbs up sign. That's going to be a sign of white supremacy or hate speech or, or, or whatever, a hate symbol. Um, because this is just what they do. They, they adopt anything and everything that they can and then all they do is they validate the people that they're trying to say shouldn't have any credibility you know what i mean and 
I, I just, these people are crazy. These people are truly crazy, and they need to be called that. You don't need to sit there and go, oh, Ellen C. Scott, um, tell me why you feel this way. Um, and then afterwards, you just, you're not supposed to sit there and just go, oh, okay. No, you're like, you're crazy. You are, what is wrong with you? Seriously, what is wrong with you? Explain to me how you got this way. How did you get to the point in life where you actually think clapping should be banned? How did that happen? Explain the path to get to where you are as a human being. Who are you listening to? What type of crazy nonsense are you listening to that has put you in a position at this point in your life to be offended over clapping? Please explain that to me. That should be the follow-up question. Now, I will give the lady credit, and I don't know her name. I saw her actually in a PewDiePie video with Piers Morgan where they were calling this guy like all these weird sexist names because of... A position he took, which wasn't sexist, but that doesn't surprise anybody. Um, I well, she she was a pretty fair in her approach and how she was questioning this this lady. But uh, whew. I mean, again, if we're gonna continue to just validate these people by making their val like, th there's no validity in what she's saying. None of it makes sense. None of it makes any sense whatsoever. It is more of this constant pandering to, like, they take one, one situation and they treat that like that is the defining situation worldwide or culture-wide. You know, it's just like I said, when they take one comment off a video, they don't take any words from me or other content creators that they're trying to paint this narrative around. They don't take any words we say. They'll find one comment and they'll post that one comment to social media and go, look what this person in the comment section said. This is such a toxic community. You know, they won't find the other 99% of comments that are positive or the creator that they claim is toxic. They can't find any words from that person. But they find these one and two instances and they build an entire thing around it. Well, um, there's one person that got really triggered by clapping and it really hurts them. So we should change the rules completely across the board because one person got offended. It's the most nonsensical way of thinking you could imagine. So anyway, uh, ban clapping. No more car video. No more meme review. No more clapping in general. You got to do car video. Car video, meme review, meme review. Is that how you do jazz hands? Oh my God. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Have a great day. Thank you very much for checking out this video and we will talk to you later. Hey everyone, it's Jeremy from geeksandgamers.com and if you're a fan of Geeks and Gamers, please go to our website, visit our merchandise store. We have t-shirts, hoodies, hats, beanies, tank tops, and in the very near future, we're going to have many more products for you to choose from. So thank you for the support. We appreciate it. You guys have a great day and we will talk to you later.